We are taking a look at the latest mini PC from B-Link, the SCI 11 Pro. We will be running some system and gaming benchmarks, then trying some games and emulators to see how well they run. We start off with the unboxing. Opening the box shows the user manual, which is in multiple languages, including English, German, Spanish and Italian. Underneath is the B-Link SCI 11 Pro, which we will show in more detail shortly. Inside the packaging is the power supply. We will include the correct adapter for your country. There are two HDMI cables. One is short and is useful for when mounted behind your TV or monitor. Next, we have the mounting bracket for mounting behind your display. There's a pack of screws for the bracket and for securing an internal 2.5 inch drive inside the mini PC. And last but not least is a SATA ribbon which you use when installing the drive. The B-Link SEI 11 Pro measures 4.9 by 4.4 by 1.5 inches and weighs around 439 grams. On the front there are two USB 3 and a USB Type-C port for connecting peripherals too. There is a 3.5mm headphone pole and a power button. On the back there is a gigabit ethernet pole, two USB 2 poles and two HDMI ports for a dual monitor display. The bottom of the mini PC can be opened to upgrade the RAM and SSD as well as for installing the internal 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD. The B-Link SCI 11 Pro features the Intel Core i5 11320H processor with 4 cores and 8 threads running up to 4.5GHz at 35W TDP. It has an Intel Iris Xe graphics which runs up to 1.35GHz. It comes with 16GB of DDR4 RAM and 500GB of NVMe SSD. It supports up to 64 gigs and 2 terabytes respectively. For data transfer we have the Gigabit Ethernet and for wireless there is fast and stable Wi-Fi 6 with Bluetooth 5.2. In our tests we run the Cinebench benchmark for 10 minutes and measured the fan noise and temperature. We saw a maximum temperature of 60 degrees and fan noise of 55 decibels. This is tested in our office environment which is around 23 degrees and 40 decibels. We start the system benchmarks with Passmark. Passmark pushes the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to their maximum in a series of tests. At the end of the benchmark we got a score of 4118. We will be comparing the results with other mini PCs after the benchmarks. PCMark is a series of all natural tests covering day-to-day -day tasks from web browsing to image processing. We got a final score of 4,925 with good results across the individual test categories. You can view them in more detail on our blog post linked in the description. Cinebench tests the CPU to see its performance with either single or multi-core tests. In the multi-core test we got a score of 4906, roughly equivalent to the Intel i7 1165G7 which is used in some Windows gaming handouts. 3DMark tests the CPU and GPU to see how well they work together in video processing tasks. We got a score of 1402 which is about average for this processor. Crystal Disk Mark runs a series of tests on the storage to see its performance across different reading and writing patterns. We got a highest read speed of 2490 megs and highest write speed of 1933 megs a second. Both are very good scores amongst the highest in this price range. Compared to the previous B-Link SCI 10 i5 model, we can see a clear difference in score results across the system benchmarks. There is a 57, 30 and 66% difference on the first three tests. We can see SSD speeds is about the same for reading and the SCI 10 is a little lower on write speeds. Overall there is a great increase in performance if you add the 10th generation model. 
Compared to the higher priced AMD equivalent with the B-Link SCR4, we can see that the SCR4 has between 5 to 30% difference in scores over the SCI11. It is Intel versus AMD, so there will be processes that each are specifically faster at. A good example is Cinebench, which AMD processors are usually faster than Intel. If you do want to save some money, the SCI11 Pro is a good option. And you can save even more with our 5% discount code 11 pro 5 off when used on the checkout at droix.co.uk and droix.net. That wraps up our review of the B-Link SCI11 Pro. We hope you have found it useful. Subscribe if you have not already to keep up to date with our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back in our next one.